All right, so today I'm gonna to be going over how to take apart uh, a lifter from a 7.3 IDI and reorganize some of the parts and add a washer to make it a solid lifter so that you can use it, uh, turning the motor over by hand to check your valve clearances when rebuilding the motor. Uh, some of the reasons you wanna check your valve clearances uh, during a rebuild is if you have any material removed off the face of the deck on the heads or the block or if you're putting in a new cam uh, it's just a good idea to check your valve clearances to make sure they're not going to hit the pistons so the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, remove this clip in here so I take a screwdriver and I put it underneath be careful this will spring out and hit you in the face if you're not careful all right so I got the clip put it over there all right, now this cap is just gonna come off. There's a little spacer underneath. We wanna make sure we get that. So there's the cap. Here's the spacer. All right, it's in there. That little black spacer. All right, now there's a core in here we're gonna wanna get out as well. See the core starts to poke itself out. You can just grab it with needle nose and pull it right out. Okay, once you get the core out, there's a spring inside. There's a spring. Okay, now the core has some components as well. You notice it's hollow on top, but on the bottom there's a little cap here. Pull the cap off. There's a cap. And there's a little spring and a little ball bearing. We don't need any of that stuff, all right? So all we're gonna use on the rebuild is the cover, the spacer, the clip, and the core. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the core upside down so it came out like this but we're going to put it in upside down where the cap was. Upside down, fits real tight, once it's in just push it down as far as it'll go. Take your little black spacer, put it in, make sure it's centered in there. Take one of these number six washers, I just got them at my local hardware store. It's just a little tiny washer. Put it on top. There you go. Now we put the cap on. And then lastly, we'll put the retaining clip back on. Make sure the retaining clip's seated in there. And now you have a nice solid washer that doesn't need any oil pressure and we'll put as much pressure on your push rods as there needs to be to make sure your valves get full range of movement. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you.